have a series of custom cutters that are essentially oval uh, in shape or round in shape. In this case, we're choosing the oval one, and we'll basically use the smallest one necessary. So I think we'll use the 2.7. Now that we have custom cutting guides that are shaped to the various types of defects, the debridement and defect preparation has become much easier. So we used a oval cutting guide to initiate the debridement that was able to extricate all the damaged cartilage. Uh, once we score it with the custom cutting guide, we use a 15 blade to start to debride the, the uh, fibro cartilage and surrounding damaged cartilage up to the adjacent normal margin. We'll use a ring curette uh, and basically create, uh, maintain the vertical walls that the custom cutting guide established and go down to the calcified layer. We do our best not to violate that area in any significant way to minimize the amount of bleeding that can occur. We used a uh, thrombin soaked gel foam patty uh, with some direct pressure and a little bit of residual bleeding was managed using uh, just a bit of fibrin glue with pressure in the defect, and that controlled it nearly 100%. With respect to various pearls that we've learned over time, I think it's still critical, no matter what cartilage technique you use, that the defect is prepared properly. Uh, that's as important as actually the technology you're using. So uh, the instrumentation that, you, that you've seen will create vertical walls. Uh, that's really critical to get an abrupt transition zone between the defect and the surrounding normal cartilage. Uh, respecting the subcondyl plate for surface treatments is really critical. So we're not interested in um, stimulating the biology of the subcondyl plate. So we are very careful in the defect preparation in that regard. Indication for use. Macy, autologous cultured chondrocytes on porcine collagen membrane, is an autologous cellularized scaffold product that is indicated for the repair of single or multiple symptomatic full thickness cartilage defects of the adult knee with or without bone involvement. Macy is intended for autologous use and must only be administered to the patient for whom it was manufactured. The implantation of Macy is to be performed via an arthrotomy to the knee joint under sterile conditions. The amount of Macy administered is dependent upon the size, surface in centimeter squared, of the cartilage defect. The implantation membrane is trimmed by the treating surgeon to the size and shape of the defect to ensure the damaged area is completely covered and implanted cell side down. Limitations of use Effectiveness of Macy in joints other than the knee has not been established. Safety and effectiveness of Macy in patients over the age of 55 years have not been established. Important safety information Macy is contraindicated in patients with a known history of hypersensitivity to gentamicin, other amino glycosides, or products of porcine or bovine origin. Macy is also contraindicated for patients with severe osteoarthritis of the knee, inflammatory arthritis, inflammatory joint disease, or uncorrected congenital blood coagulation disorders. Macy is also not indicated for use in patients who have undergone prior knee surgery in the past six months. Excluding surgery to procure a biopsy or a concomitant procedure to prepare the knee for a Macy implant. Macy is contraindicated in patients who are unable to follow a physician-prescribed post-surgical rehabilitation program. The safety of Macy in patients with malignancy in the area of cartilage biopsy or implant is unknown. Expansion of present malignant or dysplastic cells during the culturing process or implantation is possible. Patients undergoing procedures associated with Macy are not routinely tested for transmissible infectious diseases. A cartilage biopsy and Macy implant may carry the risk of transmitting infectious diseases to healthcare providers handling the tissue. Universal precautions should be employed when handling the biopsy samples and the Macy product. Final sterility test results are not available at the time of shipping. In the case of positive sterility results, healthcare provider or providers will be contacted. To create a favourable environment for healing, concomitant pathologies that include meniscal pathology, cruciate ligament instability and joint misalignment must be addressed prior to or concurrent with the implantation of Macy. Local treatment guidelines regarding the use of thromboprophylaxis and antibiotic prophylaxis around orthopaedic surgery should be followed. Use in patients with local inflammations or active infections in the bone, joint and surrounding soft tissue should be temporarily deferred until documented recovery. The Macy implant is not recommended during pregnancy. For implantations post-pregnancy, 
the safety of breastfeeding to infant has not been determined. Use of Macy in paediatric patients younger than 18 years of age or patients over 65 years of age has not been established. The most frequently occurring adverse reactions reported for Macy greater than 5% were arthralgia, tendonitis, back pain, joint swelling and joint effusion. Serious adverse reactions reported for Macy were arthralgia, cartilage injury, meniscus injury, treatment failure and osteoarthritis. For more information or to view full prescribing information, please go to macy.com.